Cool. Well, it says I'm offline, but I can totally see that I'm online. Um, so today's objective, one second, I gotta clean this mic off, it's getting really messy. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, it occurs to me there was a way to turn off the mic before doing that. Uh, whatever. Anyhow, um, So, welcome back. Uh, today my intent is to finish through this particular set of problems, um, and then we'll get to playing some more Go. Um, so these problems, again, have to do, these are just life and death problems. This is the attacking set. Um, you can find this set of problems at GoChild2009. Um, so basically, most of these are about, well, all these are about um, white attempting to make two eyes, and black saying, no, white doesn't get to make a second eye, or no, he doesn't get to make two eyes. Um, so here we see white's already got an eye. He's aiming to make a second one right here. And so we have to play this so that white can't play there to form a second eye immediately. Um, I want to say you have to extend into here, and then when white kills you, he puts himself in Atari. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, you can't allow... Wait, why can't I allow him to connect? He's threatening to make a second eye over here, and a second eye over there. And I'm sure that somehow this threatens... Oh, I see it. Hope you guys like the little bird noises. They're kind of cute. Um, so there's I1. Here's an attempt to make another eye. Just stop it. And there's an attempt to make I2. There's another attempt. And you just have to prevent a second eye from forming. Um... Um, that's all there is to these problems, is just make sure white cannot form a second eye. Because usually he's already got the first one by the time this problem started. Um, I'm a bit confused. I see if white places two stones, he's got a second eye. I see if he places two stones over here, that's also a second eye. Um, so which one's more important? Like, where is the key to all of this? I would be surprised if a position just like this appeared in one of my games. But, you know... For the art of practice, let's figure it out. Um, This bears more resemblance to a real position than most things I would see. I feel like this is the more important point because white would place here if I don't. I don't see what's the big deal, but 
Um, uh, I think I saw at least enough of that to, like, if I had placed over here first, white would place there, and I could attempt to form a similar shape to what I've got on the right here, um, but I think white's a bit too fast. Like, white's placing here means that if I place there, I'm already in Atari. If I, I could start over here, actually, I think. So if I play one, well, I could play two and I would play three. I think that's a viable solution. Let me try 174 again and see if it objects to my placing here. So it doesn't like when I do this, but I think this is also okay. Though this is obvious and works and there's no reason to challenge it. But I think if I play here, we end up with the same shape on this side of the board. Or I could st even start here. But the puzzle wants me to play there. I don't understand the difference. But, I mean, obviously this works. Uh, maybe you guys can help explain that to me. So there's I number one. This is me stopping I number two. Um, Um, I think I have to play here. Because otherwise I'm too slow over there and white does have time to make another eye. Um, well, this would be self-Atari. We can't do that. Um... I mean, we could do it. It would look kind of silly. Okay, so this is not the answer. This is the... In my mind, this is the obvious candidate. In my mind, this was another candidate, but appears not to work. Um, what, must I place... No, that's not it either. Is it over here? Okay, why this one, though? Oh, because that would form a real eye, whereas um, this stuff, I've already stopped that. Whereas if I lead here, white places there, and if I try to stop this, um, I'm in self-Atari he could take. I uh, could block, but white's still okay. Okay, this is pretty fancy. Huh. So this is your stones exerting influence at a distance. Um, because white's only on the one side. If white were on both sides of this black group, um, it'd be pretty scary for black. But that's not the case. All right. Well, I see. I'll call this an eye here. This really looks very much like an eye. But where might number two be? Over there? Okay, now he's trying to do something tricky here. Oh, I get it. He's trying to surround the corner and make an eye. So I have to play there and assume that white's surrounded. Like, this would be self-Atari, so you can't do that. And if he does that, I connect here, so I'm okay. So all's fine. Huh. Oh, I see, and then you make sure that that remains a single eye. Um, okay. This is screaming to be played, although, well, I'm not sure which of these two. Or this one. This one looks necessary, and you have to allow white to do this and say, no, white cannot connect. Um, so if white's got all these forcing moves, um, 
it tends to be pretty obvious where you have where your reply is forced. Uh, so if either player plays in this corner, the other player uh, plays. Um, so like if I play first, I think I get surrounded or something. I'm not sure. But white can't play in the corner. If white plays in the corner, I play diagonally opposite wherever white plays. And uh, that remains a single eye. Uh, what wants to play here to make a second eye? What wants to play here to make a second eye? Then he wants to play here. So just play all the places white wants to play. He wants to go there, and there, and here, and I assume here. That's a cool pattern. Um, how many eyes does white have here? got one. Oh, I see. You have to play there. There we go. I see the one eye. Um, he wants to make a second. Um, this prevents a second and this prevents a second, so we're good. Uh, he wants to connect there, making two eyes, so you just stop him. Um, hmm. Just in all cases, just prevent the second eye. And that's all there is to the this particular set of problems. Where's White's threat? I know there's a threat because the puzzle resumes, but I don't see where it is. Like, if White could play both of these points, sure. But I'm not sure that allowing either of these points gives White anything, because I can just take the other one. No, that's not true. If he goes there and I go here, I'm doomed. What if I go here? It's saying I can't go there, but I'm pretty sure if I go there, if white takes either of these points, I take the other one. I mean, the solution it wants to see is just play here. Because you don't normally want to play the edge. This resolves the whole tension immediately, and white's just immediately dead. Um, the thing I don't like about this is does this increase Black's Liberty count or decrease it? Um, like if I play on the edge here, I'm taking one, two liberties that I... Well, this isn't a liberty though. Um, yeah. So there's this takes away two white liberties. Or it takes... Uh, I'm not sure. The word liberty means something very special in Go. But this attacks two squares. This here would also attack two squares, but one of them's the corner, and we don't really count care about that. So, I suppose there's reasons to do these things the way the puzzle designer intended. Um, so, um, what's threatening this? It's a relief that Black's able to get there in time, eh? Some of these puzzles are pretty simple. Alright, what's White's threat here? I assume that it's this spot. Or maybe that... maybe if, even if I allow that... Like if I play one further out, which if you had a larger board, you strongly consider playing further out. Um, on this board, it's kind of silly. Uh, on this board, you want to be more aggressive and tactical, but on a large board, maybe you would want to play out here. And then if white plays, maybe play there. 
it's getting murky if you start doing that, but um, this kills the white group immediately. So there's no contest. Um, what's white's threat? I felt that it was here, but I'm not sure. I guess I'm not even concerned about white's threat in some of these, and some of these is just about kill the group as efficiently as possible. Alright. Well, I don't want my stone to die, do I? Um. Oh, is this the ladder? Hey look, we made a ladder, guys. All right, and then you have to kill the corner. It's interesting that I got the one stone here. Um, hmm, I wonder. There's so much I wonder about. But is that stone there for a reason? Or is it just there for decoration? I guess this stone is probably as necessary as these are. So, somebody really carefully calculated this position and put these stones in very exact positions just to set up this one special ladder technique. Um, I know ladders can happen in a variety of positions, but it's just kind of amazing white doesn't have any other way. Um, Okay, white wants to make two eyes. He's already got one. Ah, uh, if he plays here, I think, yeah, that's, uh, that's alive. So let's keep it not alive. I guess there are living shapes that aren't solidly connected, which is pretty cool. Hmm. I mean... Okay, so I see he's got one eye over here, so you have to stop the second eye. Then you have to stop this attempt, and then if he plays the corner, you split this in two. Um. Okay, we're gonna stop an eye here. Um... The white's got one eye, and that's going to be all he's got. Um, now that's an interesting shape. He's got five spaces, but not really because this isn't connected, but potentially there's five spaces to live with there. I feel like this is the move. I'm not sure why. Um, and reading it out might make a lot of sense there. Obviously, if white plays here or there, that's not really too scary. Um, so I see white's threat is to play here now, but what if he had inverted this order and played there first? I guess then I'd have to play here, and that'd be pretty straightforward. And if I'd gone here first, um, I don't know what he does. I'd go in there first. Maybe he takes. Probably not. No. If I go in here first. Oh, I get it. Then uh, he goes there. And even if I take one of these two points, he takes the other one. And he's got uh, two eyes. I see why the. I see the purpose of this, like, bamboo joint shape. Um, it's that if I take one of the spots, he could take the other one, and he's still connected. So I see now why that bamboo joint thing is so solid. But it's really defensive shape. Um... Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, let's focus on this one. Okay, that was pretty simple. Um, let's see. Uh, idea one, idea two. There's no reason for me to allow this eye. So I do allow that. Um, but I think now I can play diagonally across from this. And that remains a single eye, and then I prevent the second eye from forming here. Yeah. Well, I think that one thing Zish pointed out yesterday was pretty useful. Um, that namely, uh, shapes don't have to be fully connected to be alive. Or even to form two eyes. You can have disconnected shapes that still two eyes have formed in. It's uncommon, but it's possible. Or I guess, at least in my level, it's uncommon, but... It's probably more common at most Go players' levels. Um, so, that's a living shape. Um, but what do I do about the rest of this? Clearly I just tanuki it now. <laughs> uh, leave it to me to find the least predictable move on the board. Okay. So I'm an Atari. I think I have to connect, but I'm um, concerned if I connect that he connects. Should I even be worried? No, I shouldn't. All is fine here, because if he connects, I go there if I have to. Um, I don't immediately have to go there, but I could always play here and then there and just demonstrate that none of this is alive. Um, all right, so this is one shape in the corner. It's got a eye and what I want to believe is a false eye. If he gets fully connected here, though, that becomes a true eye, so I have to stop that connection. Um, but now if this group is alive, then therefore this group lives. So I have to kill this. To kill this, um, I have to make sure it doesn't connect up and make a real eye here. So, it's false eye, false eye, and therefore this is also false. Um, or it's just not an eye that allows white to live. It might be a true eye, the more I think about it. So if he connects here, then he's got a shape that's got two eyes. So let's stop the first group here from being alive. So that's dead-ish, dead-ish. Um, he wants to make this alive, and I'm going to say no. Okay. It's good to have the clarification. So, that in the corner is a true eye, but because the other ones were false eyes, that wasn't good enough. Um, so that's a true eye. Um... He wants to make a second one, so we stop that. Let's say none of that. Say, I don't know, something. Actually, one thing I could do to make this more interesting for me is not just play the move instantly, but try to figure out what my opponent would do before he plays it. That would actually make this a more challenging exercise. Um, so let's try that here. White wants to make an eye here. If I prevent that, um, probably plays something in this area. I mean, what else could he possibly play? And he plays something in this area, but where might he go? I don't know that it matters. Huh. I mean, if he could play one, two, three, four, if he could play all four of those points, then he would surround the space. 
Or if he could play one, two, which I'm totally not going to allow. Um, but yeah, there's really not too much to this. Some of these are more involved, but not that one. This is the obvious point. If I play here, he's going to want to make a shape in the corner, to, or make an eye in the corner, but that's not going to happen. Um, there's an eye. He wants to play here. If I play there, he's going to play one of these two points, and I take the other one. And there's nothing more. Um, Yeah, it's decent practice for beginners. I wouldn't necessarily call this good for beginners, because I know it does not play the same move every time. If you summon the same puzzle and play the same move against it, sometimes it does randomly play something else. Um, but you have to assume that your opponent's not always going to play the best move, or not always going to play the... Um, I don't know. The move that caves in. This one eye obviously wants to play there. If I play there, he's going to take one of the, either this or that, and I take the other one, and that's that. Um, this is the obvious play. He's going to want one of these two, and I'll take the other one. That doesn't actually threaten anything. I mean, if he's saying that if this group lives, then everything else lives. So... It could be mildly instructive, like, maybe I'm supposed to play there. Um, but that's kind of crazy. This is how I get trouble in actual games, is if I play this, it's a little bit greedy. Saying I want more... I want to control this territory differently. I'm jealous of my own territory. Whereas if I play there, it's just white's gone. But if I go here, white goes there. I go here, white goes somewhere. And potentially, I could be losing this group or this group. So I have to cap this immediately. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to play upper right to lower left. Um, so I think I want to play here. This feels right. Because eventually I'm going to need to go up and kill this. If I play there, um, oh, right, I see, if I play there, he plays here, and if I play there Atariing this, um, he just plays here, and if I play here, I'm already in Atari, so he goes there, so then I have to start here. It's not equivalent to play here, because um, he plays the second line. And even if I try to expand out, I'm too slow. And if I try to cap this off, he forms a second eye. I'm not sure. I don't think this is fine. If I go 3-1, three, 3-2... Three, um, I can't go 4-1 because I'm already in Atari. He just kills me. And if I go here, I get killed here anyway. I can throw in. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Let's go back. I can throw in in this position. Um, so if I play 3-1, if he plays 3-2, where's my throw in? Oh, after he takes.
I'm not seeing this. Um, I, I'm not going to spend the time to set this up on a separate board, but I think if I go 3-1, 3-2, um, if I play, say, 5-1 or Tanuki or something, he captures me. And I'm sorry. No, he's already taken this point as the point. Now, I guess you're saying if I could start here on 3-2 instead of starting 3-1. Maybe that works. Okay, so 3-1, 3-2, Capturing my 2. I could throw in on 4-1. I see. This is okay, so arguably starting four one's better, but three one's also okay because after he takes both three one and four one by playing at five one, I could play back at uh four one. Um and even if he does manage to take it, then I can start at six one, four one, just KO my way through it. Yeah, you're right. There is a throw in there. So, yeah, right. So it's best to play in a way that kills without. Um, I think it's called Ko, not Ko. Yeah, the way I played it is the clean way to play it. So this prevents the second eye from forming. As does this. That's pretty simple. Um, ooh. This already counts as an eye, I think. Because there's no way I can stop this. So the key is to stop eye number two. Um. Hmm. Alright, so stop this. Okay, so we do consider this to be an eye. Whereas if I'd played this first, he would immediately form an eye and have good chances somewhere of forming a second. Um, actually, yeah, his playing there would also threaten to play next to it. That's the real play that I stopped. All else being equal. Wait, this is bad. Because he goes there making two eyes. So... Yeah, I have to bear in mind, well, this actually would be a solidly connected shape. Uh, we having two eyes. This is still a false eye, but it would have two eyes plus the false eye. Alright, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Good luck with your study. Um... So prevent this, prevent that eye, uh, prevent this from splitting into two, and we're good. Prevent that eye. Sorry if I'm a little lethargic at the moment. Um, well, that's a nice little symmetric shape, now, isn't it? Um, where's the threat? This is the threat. If I play here, he's probably going to play there. I'm going to cut him off, and there's really not much else to say. I didn't see this idea, but it didn't fundamentally change anything. Um, White wants to play there. Oh well, no, this is his real threat. And he wants to take one of the points, and I can take the other one. Like, if you got to play this, that would be a second eye. How does that threaten anything? I'm in Atari, aren't I? I have to get out of Atari. And if you play that first, I just capture. It's interesting the computer does not self Atari often, if ever. Because um, you've got one eye here. There's an interest in making a second eye. And there's interest in trying to expand that up there, but none of this works. 
Um, Oh, uh, I have to play here though, that's the key. Otherwise he's able to surround or Atari me before I can Atari this. And now I have to make some kind of living shape out of this, or I have to kill quickly. Um, I don't think this is a capture race per se, so I think the key here is that I have to make a living shape. That's not alive. That's not at all alive. Um, wow. This is actually marginally more difficult. Um, so one, two, three is slower than one, two. Um, hmm. I play this how am I not the first person getting captured in all this there's something something different about this this looks an awful lot like a capture race if I'm not paying attention um yeah that's what a beginner thinks here. Is that, well, crap, he's going to kill this. Um, I suppose what I'm hearing is that white doesn't make any living shape out of this. Because I don't think these beginner problems are capturing races. I would be surprised. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what's happening. It takes me three moves to kill that large group up top. It takes him two to kill my uppermost group up here. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, but I have to resolve the fact that they're dead and make sure that white doesn't get a second eye up there. Uh, I mean, this move suggests itself, but generally you don't want to play on an edge. Um, generally, a stone exerts more influence when it's not on the edge of the board. Um, I know, if he could surround the corner or surround some space, he could make a second eye. But I'm not sure where. Oh, wait. If uh, this is a false eye here. I'm sorry, if I have a stone there, and eventually he captures it and surrounds this one stone by eventually placing here. That's not a living shape. Um, hmm. So this actually does seem quite strong. That's not the answer though. I mean, so if I play this immediately and I just let him take there t or go there twice. Um, that's not it either. That's not it. Why do none of these work? Okay, so this is saying this only wins in some circumstances, or this is Seki, or I'm not sure what that symbol means on this site. Other than I failed the problem. That was one of my initial thoughts here, too, but why bother with this? There's some reason. I'm not understanding it just yet. Um, I have to play here. No, I don't. 
Interesting. Maybe I have to play one of these. Well, I tried this. I tried that. I have not tried this. So we're going to try that next. Uh, it's not that. So what's the purpose of this problem? Black stones are the second eye. It's already alive. I'll need to back up to get it right. Okay. It's not there, not there. Not there, apparently. Unless it's saying that I should continue playing, but no. Uh, I have to go there, but now what? There's more than one Atari earlier. Oh, so I've already messed up. I have to start with this. And I was pretty sure that this is bright. But I'm not sure about here. Maybe this is the point where I have to play this? Oh, really? Really? Okay. Uh, I guess we'll reset this. So I immediately started saying I have to play at this point. To me, um, what's this point? This is like 5-4. It's 5-4 prevents white from forming a second eye. Um, I think I have to play that. I mean, that looks a lot like an eye to me. Uh, although, maybe it's not an eye. Because white can't get to play here. I don't know, do I play like here first? Do I let white play there and then hope that he's not going to play there later? Do I play here? Do I play here? I don't know. Um, that's not it. Also not it. Tempting. is maybe this point. Um, actually, yeah, that would form two eyes. This looks like a real eye, as does this. So this would be an Atari. Um, I take there and connect up, and I don't know. Okay, well, yeah, this... The first three or so moves are correct. I mean, I think I've played decently thus far. I'm not sure where to go from here. Um, I think I have to play here. This is forced. This really looks forced, because if I don't stop that, um, he's immediately... I don't know. Like, there is this. I didn't like the idea of playing this, because that makes a really... That's a really condensed shape. This seems like a lot more spread out. Um, but if I play there, he takes me. Um, I could keep threatening to kill this. Um, that's not it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wait, why 
why did I play the other move here so quickly? Normally I just want to push him out, out of harm's way, but here I've got tons of stones just lined up ready to kill this. Yeah, now that's a lot simpler. Um, hmm. Early in the game, I'm used to seeing, like, if he cuts me, and he's got influence trying to cut me off over here, too, I really want to make the shape stronger. But, in this case, this, these five, plus these four, are already pretty strong. And can take on an extra stone showing up here or there. Um, okay, so I want to stop the second eye from forming there immediately. This is self Atari, which is kind of surprising that White would do it, but... Um, so yeah. Alright, obvious threat is obvious. Um... So he's both threatening he's threatening to go here next and then push either to the side or up. Uh so I have to play there. Um This is a bid for freedom which I can't allow. Alright. To me this looks like White's already got an eye. Um So I can't allow a second. See, yep, there's one eye. Um, and then I want to make sure that I kill this group before he, I don't know, something bad happens. Now he could play the corner, um, but he's an Atari, so this would kill the two. Could play that, but I would just kill him anyway. Um, I wonder if I play something different on that last move, is it okay? Like if I play here, yeah that's equally fine. So hooray! Um, well that looks like an eye. That looks like an attempt to make an eye. Alright, this is one big ol' eye. Um, oh, well, it's again threatening to push to the edge, plus... Well, not up here, though. That wouldn't make a living shape here. If the stone were one over, then if he went sideways, then he could threaten to also go up at the same time, but as it stands now, um, this is the real place. Yeah, if he goes here, he's threatening both this, making this an eye. And if he goes here, he's also threatening something over here, trying to make an eye. Oh, okay. I see the threat. Wow, I'm dense today. That's okay. Alright, this is threat number one. Um, it really doesn't seem to be much here. Um, false eyes galore. So many false eyes. Oh, this looks nothing at all like the last problem. Nothing whatsoever like the last one. Alright. Um, so this is a threat. He's gonna play there if I do nothing, so... Um, oh, and this is a threat to make another eye. If I lead with that, he could go here. Oh, but then he'd be an Atari here. So I have to recognize that my first move is an Atari in some of these positions. Or at least I should recognize that. 
that's what makes it effective. So this is Atari. Um, this is also an Atari. I mean, I could kill that immediately, but he'd think he plays here. Yeah. So another Atari, and I'm good. Yeah, reading's important. I mean, playing games and enjoying the game's kind of important too, but reading is a useful skill. Um, well, this looks an awful lot like that one problem I struggled with yesterday. So... I mean, I think White's threatening to connect up, but maybe he's got something else intended. Um, he's also threatening to connect up here. <laughs> also threatening to go there. And this is something I can actually do something about. So I think this 3-3 uh, three, three point is probably where I should go. Um, oh, in fact, yeah, that's an Atari. And solutions to most of this particular set tend to be Atari moves. Um, Because I really can't approach the top group, right? If I play in either of those two spots in the top group, he plays the other one and has formed a false eye. So, okay, right now my candidate moves are as follows A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I should be able to narrow down that list a little bit. A seems stupid. We'll take A out. So it's just B, C, D, E, F, and G. Um, B seems unnecessary. In fact, White's going to play B in response to whatever I do, and then I play over here. Um, this actually looks useful. It prevents a real eye from forming, although it's not an Atari move. Um, if I play that though, he plays down here at F. So maybe I have to play F first. Because otherwise there's no way I can Atari either group. So I have to play this to preserve my Atari possibility. And then I play here. And the reason this all, this entire combination works is because I'm not getting atari in the corner. Um, otherwise, white would be having some living chances, but this just completely shuts white down. Um, clearly, this move is not called for. Uh, okay, so what else is there? Stop the corner. Make that just a single eye, and that's all good. Stop this corner grab. Stop this eye grab, and we're all good. Um, so I try the... Wait. Well, this one's a little bit different now, isn't it? I think I have to play here. It seems forced somehow, but I don't know. I do not know. There's got to be a good move here.
What's so devastating about this, anyhow? Like, if I just allow white to play here... Oh, he's threatening both... No, it's not a threat. I mean, if he gets both of these points, I'm in trouble. Oh, wait. If I lead there, he just goes here. Uh, and this is messy. If I lead here, he goes there, and he's alive. Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think we can count that this lower left corner is an eye, and White's goal is to make a second. Um, and if I don't play this immediately, he play it, White plays it. And then if I take one of these spots, White takes the other spot. So I can't Tanuki, obviously. This looks like the candidate move. Um, if I play this, white connects. And has some threats. I play here. White can't go there. So this seems fine. I wonder why I can't go there first. If I go there, White likely goes where I just played. Um, oh, and I'm not Atariing. And I'm getting Atariing very quickly there, so. Huh. Um. Well, this is confusing. That kind of looks like an eye. This kind of looks like an eye. I kind of want to play here so that white doesn't make this a real eye and that a real eye. Um, so white's stones are all in shapes such that if any one of the stones are alive, they're all alive. I can't play here though. That's not right. Um, oh, he's threatening this more importantly. Oh, I get it. No, I can't go there either. So if I play one of these two, white plays the other. Um, hmm. I'm an Atari. Let's deal with the Atari situation. Okay, do I not kill this? I'm in multiple Ataris here. Apparently that Atari is the most important one. I'm not sure why. Okay, so that's the solution, but what's so bad about where we started here? Like, if I try to escape the Atari in the corner, I get it, playing on the edge is not smart, um, but what's so devastating about this? I guess just that it gives white Santa or something. Whereas here, white definitely does not have Sente. Uh, yeah. Or, I don't know. Go problems are tricky for me. Um, I want to play here, because this is definitely one eye. I don't want to see a second eye form. Um, <laughs> White wants to play this point now to make this into two eyes, so I have to stop that. And White wants to play somewhere over... Oh, he wants to go to the edge of the board again. 
so we stop that. Okay, if I didn't connect, it's uh, co for life. Got it. That makes sense. I know you might not trust me when I say I've got it, but um, no, I get the difference that a shape could be dead versus co for life, where it would take you, um, if there were a co threat elsewhere on the board, you'd have to let that other threat go to kill the group. Um, so there's definitely a difference. Uh, so I'm an Atari here and an Atari here. <laughs> I think white's less likely to live on this side. Like if I play there immediately, he takes. Um, and then I could play this. I have to co and then place here in order to kill the group. Whereas if I just play this immediately, the white group's just dead. There's no saving this. Okay, so that's one eye. Um, if white could make a second, he'd be alive. <laughs> okay, so I think this is again a co for life situation. Um, so if I just play there, that's dead. Whereas what I initially played here um, would require me to kill this stone, which is going to take some more than one tempo. And while I'm busy killing that, other stuff happens. It's possible that this might even be worse than that, but yeah, so I have to go there first. And this is scarier than I thought it was because white's threatening to extend uh, to the left edge of the board and form a second eye in doing so. Okay. Um, well, white's got no threats to extend to edges. He's going to have to make eye shape in his space that he's already got. Now if white had a tempo, he'd just play right here. And if I take one spot, he takes the other, and that's the second eye. So I have to play there. Okay, and then... So these white groups are disconnected. I can separately kill this group, this group, and then come around and kill that. Um, I understand these things are already pronounced dead, but um, as a beginner I like to think about just having the option to kill things. Um, I don't think this site has coordinates. Uh, if I click this thing, okay, that's coordinates. I see. Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to be wrapping up here pretty soon because there is a program I want to watch. Um, but uh, let's see, where do I go? Like, I think preventing him from capturing this is important. Because if he captures, I mean, by Go rules, I'm not allowed to capture back. And so he would make a second eye there. So let's play uh, 4E or E4. And then C7 and 7C. I'm not sure what the nomenclature is. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I've seen lettering and seen numbering and heard people refer to things as 3 3 and 4 3, and I've separately seen boards refer to a little combination of letters and numbers. Um, letter first. Alright, so it is like chess. That's cool. Um, well, well, well. This is one eye up top. This is not quite an eye. I feel very strongly compelled to place here. 
even though I'm an Atari over here. Um, well, no, if I let him take, then he's going to place there next. That would be I number two. That would be bad. I did see this coming, but I saw I have this response, so I'm still good. Yeah, you're right. Um, that makes sense, though. I guess not only does 44033 mean it doesn't matter which corner. Yeah, all the corners have that points. Um, hmm. I thought I was going to say something else after that. I confused myself. Um, well, again, wait, if you could claim this space would make a fully connected shape with two eyes. So I have to play there. Uh, I don't really see a white thread after that. There's nothing to worry about. So let's play up through 250 and then call it. Um, so this is presumably a false eye. Presumably these are all false eyes. Well, <laughs> I can't go there. That would be a suicide move. That's not allowed. Um, if he fully connects, he's got two eyes. I have to stop the full connection. All right, I'm an Atari. Yeah, I didn't really see much for white there. Um, if he captures this, he's able to place there and make another eye. Again, white doesn't have very much uh, space in which to operate, so that's just all dead. Oh, this one's fun now, isn't it? So your first inclination is, my goodness, I have to play here immediately. Otherwise, white connects. Um, I think this is the real threat. In fact, this is not even an Atari move. So this is my first inclination, is just to cut. But my second is that you have to just fully connect here. Assuming you're forced to play at all, this is to be the point to play at. Um, because white cannot make more eye space or eye shape or anything like that. Well, it's just doomed if you play this. Because if you play here, white just takes, right? Uh, that's kind of like a co. Whereas white's just gone here. Yeah, now black can't kill with this one move. And white, when white takes, that's a co. And so you'd have to go elsewhere on the board and then co back and then get to place here eventually. Oh, okay, I see. If white is actually placing here, I'm sorry, that's not even co. Um, that white stone is connected to this, so that's just alive for white if black plays here. If there were an alternation where you could go back and forth and back and forth, that would be a co-fight. But this is, uh, white playing here would just be a living shape. Um, oh, so now this is Seki. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't see the kill after this. Finding a way to kill the white group looked really not easy. Because, like, if white... I'm sorry, if black plays more stones out here, if he tries to Atari white, um, he's white's going to have too much space to operate in. Um, white can't approach black, and black can't approach white, because either player who plays more stones in this area is going to... Uh, it's basically filling in his own liberties. Yeah. Seki means that black controls these spaces as well as white does. So they're nobody's territory. There's no points awarded. So all black gets is just all this space on the outside here plus the space over here. And white gets nothing. Other than Comey. Um... 
So, where's white threatened? Oh, I'm an Atari. Do I care? Probably. I'm an Atari here, too. If white kills this stone, oh no, I'll just connect and then go back and kill white at my leisure. If white kills this group, he's making another eye. So we have to protect this first. And then at my leisure, I could come back. I mean, if white starts to go all the way around, then maybe I start really getting concerned, but um, you know, killing this off is pretty simple. Um, and one more. And then I'll go watch my program. It's a fun times. So I have to stop the obvious eye-making moves. And there we go. Well, that was good fun. I see there's 50 more of these to go. Um, I'll address these next time. And um, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you then. Uh, so take care.